Yo, what is up, LEGO fans? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are taking a look at a brand new mock, and this one depicts Moni Myrtle's bathroom from The Chamber of Secrets, which is the second book in the Harry Potter series. I'm a pretty big fan of the Harry Potter series. I thoroughly enjoy them. And since LEGO dropped a new Harry Potter CMF, I thought it was only fitting that I use Moni Myrtle in one of my mocks, thus this was created. The mock is a pretty basic mock. You can see that we have the sink that opens to reveal the Chamber of Secrets. Spoiler territory. I forgot to warn you guys. And then we've got three bathroom stalls. I'm using uh, green plates and tiles to give off the stall feel. It was pretty hard to design these, not gonna lie, but they look pretty good. And then you can see Hermione, Ron, and Harry. All three of these minifigures came from the CMF. And I really like these minifigures. I really like that Lego branched out with some casual clothes because, you know, some jeans, some cool clothes that you can use in customs and stuff like that. And you can see a pot that they're boiling potions on. And you can see a, a wide assortment of containers that they can get ingredients from. This mock is very weirdly shaped. It kind of looks like a key almost. And I kind of like that. I didn't plan that. It, I just kept adding to it until I was able to fit everything that needed to be in the mock. The sink was pretty fun to design, and the architectural style is really nice. I think it really captures the feel of Hogwarts. You can see the sink is hollow, there is no secret tunnel, I'm sorry to say. Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! But then you can also see I've put grill pieces on the bottom of the floor to represent the grates that filter out water and stuff. And then if we tip the mock over, you can see how I got the rock work. I'm using mixel joints as well as some um, stud pieces, that kind of thing. I really like this rock technique. It just adds another layer of detail to the mock, but it's not too hard to do. Maybe I'll do a tutorial on it. Who knows? You know, let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to do like a rock work tutorial or something like that. And then you can see I'm using some angled plates and slopes to give it more of a rough feel as if I cut the mock out of a bigger world. I think that I think that really adds to the mock and it sparks the imagination, like imagining what else there is to this world. And then you can see that I added a bunch of windows to let in some light because Hogwarts, you know, it's pretty dismal, you know, so many deaths and such. But that about wraps up everything I have to say for this mock. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment down below, sharing your thoughts. You know the drill. We're almost at 2,000 subscribers, which is crazy. If you're new around here, hit subscribe. I'm trying to pump out videos weekly, and I would really appreciate your support. But until next time, bye.